One of the big changes in the Hearth and Home update was all centered around the cauldron. There are now three workstation improvements you can make for the cauldron and a whole host of new food that you can make with it. So in today's video, we're going to cover all of that information to get you guys started. In the video description, I have posted a link to a spreadsheet and on this spreadsheet will be the full information for all of the new food that you can get using the cauldron in game. So that's going to include all the HP and stamina and all of that sort of stuff in order to save time in this video and also give you a handy resource that you can refer back to as as you journey through your hearth and home adventure so what i've done here today i'm just going to show you how to unlock these and uh, use the cauldron to get these new foods but if you want the very specific details then do check the video description so we're going to start here with level one and level one means just a cauldron on its own without any workstation improvements and the three new foods that we have available to us are the boar jerky which will require boar meat and honey the deer stew which needs cooked deer meat blueberry and carrot and the minced meat sauce which requires boar meat nectar and carrot at level Level two, we have the black soup, which requires blood bag, honey, and turnip. The onion soup, which just requires onions. And one of my favorites, the muck shake, which requires ooze, raspberries, and blueberries. So for level two, you will need just one workstation improvement. Level three has another of my firm favorites with the ice cream, of course, where we have gray dwarf eyes and freeze glands required to make that one. Then there is the wolf jerky, which just needs wolf meat and honey, and the wolf skewer, which is wolf meat, mushrooms, and onions. So level three, of course, does require two of the workstation improvements and then finally at level four we've done it a little bit differently with a chest because at level four what you can get is the bread dough and the unbaked lox pie so level four does of course require all three of the cauldron workstation improvements now what you can do once you have this stuff is the uh, the bread dough and the uh, the unbaked pies is bake them in a stone oven. Now, to make the stone oven, we go into crafting here and hover over it. You can see you need 15 iron, 20 stone, four certain core, and an artisan table. So in order to bake the items, they'll need to be in your inventory, and the oven will have to have wood added to it. You can see there, you can have up to 10 wood added in. Then you can simply press E, and if you want to bake some items, or if you want to put like that up in your hotbar right there, I could go ahead and press seven to specifically put in the bread dough, for example. Now, as you can see here, at maximum amount, you can have have four items in the oven at any one time it doesn't have to be four of the same as you see here you can have uh, four different ones as we walk away the doors shut automatically which is quite a nice thing and this is how the oven looks as it's just doing its cooking so once cooked you get a little noise and uh, you can see the smoke now coming out the front of the oven so if we go back over here this opens up you can barely see inside for all the smoke now whereas before you could and if we go ahead and press e we've taken an item out so there we go we took out one locked pie and added it to our collection do be careful though because those noises right there and the black smoke pouring out of the oven tells me that i've left my items in there for too long and now they have all turned to coal so you have to be careful if you leave things in there too long then you'll just get coal back hey guys kaizen here just wanted to very quickly say i do stream valheim several times a week on twitch uh, link to that is the top of my description. I hope to see some of you guys there, but let's get back to the video. So there are three workstation improvements for the cauldron, and I've placed them here in the order that you'll probably make them in your game, which is starting with a spice rack, then the butcher's table, and then the pots and pans. Now, in order to place these, you do need to place them near a cauldron. However, you can do what I've done, where I place the cauldron around the back, place these workstation improvements, and then got rid of the cauldron, if you would like them just as decoration. Now, the reason I say you're probably going to place them in this order is because the spice rack right here just requires some basic Stuff. You need three dandelion, two carrots, five mushrooms, three thistles, and three turnips, and of course a workbench. The butcher's table, however, will require two ancient bark, four cool wood, four fine wood, two silver, and the workbench. And the pots and pans will need five iron, five copper, five black metal, 10 fine wood, and of course the workbench. So that's probably the order which you will make them in. Uh, and then obviously each time you improve the cauldron by one level, you get access to the new foods that are available at that higher level. So hopefully this was a useful overview of the new cauldron and the improvements that you can make to it, including all the other food that you can now make. As I said, there is a link in the description to a spreadsheet, which gives you the full information on all of the new food that you can make for better reference in the future. So guys, just wanna say as always, thank you so much for watching. And of course, here come the dad jokes. What kind of candy is never on time. Choco late. How do you get a one-armed robot out of a tree? Wave to him. How do you make Lady Gaga mad? Poker face. What kind of plates do they use on Venus? Flying saucers. Why did the music teacher need a ladder? To reach the high notes. Why did a man take a pencil to bed? So he could draw the curtains. Where do people go when they have two broken legs? Nowhere.